The investigation into child abuse at a New Mexico home where police say children were chained to beds is growing. A third woman has now been arrested and there are allegations against the Texaco police chief accusing him of knowing what was going on. Here's News 13's Annalisa Pardo. Well, after police arrested a couple in August for child abuse, more people started coming forward about that abuse and that led to the arrest of Laura Melanson. What the heck? What about this? Feel that? Backed up sewage, no running water, and chains kids living at a Texaco residence admitted were used to keep them in their beds led to the arrest of couple Jamie Cushman and Jamie Senna. All six kids living with them, ages 5 to 16, were removed from their home after a July visit from state police and CYFD when these scenes were captured. Hey, I need you to calm down. I can't. <laughs> Come here, Bubba. Now a third woman is charged facing five felonies related to child abuse. Police arrested Laura Melanson after people came forward saying Melanson also abused kids while dating Cushman back in 2016. According to court documents, Melanson was involved in starving kids, chaining them, and putting them in dog kennels. An allegation lapel video from the July visit shows CYFD was aware of. They used to keep them in dog cages. We've taken these kids away before for being in dog cages. Court documents also allege Texaco Police Chief Douglas Bowman may have helped keep Cushman out of trouble. Witnesses claim Chief Bowman saw the dog cages at Cushman's house but didn't do anything about it and would also give her a heads up if CYFD was coming for a visit. Come on, let's go get some shoes. It's okay, boy. <laughs> but I need you to get them some clothes and some shoes. Bowman has not responded to KRQE's request for comment, but in an interview with state police, he says he is not friends with Cushman and only visited the Texaco home with CYFD. He told state police he admits if he messed up, but says he never saw anything suspicious. Melanson is out on bond. She is scheduled to be back in court tomorrow. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Annalisa. Now the kids living at the home were a neighbor, Senna's children, Cushman's niece and nephew, whom she'd been granted guardianship of, and a boy from Texas, who she was granted guardianship of eight years earlier. His relation to Cushman, if any, has not been revealed. As you heard in the video, CYFD mentioned they'd removed the kids before. So why were they returned to the home? CYFD will not comment, citing privacy rights. The children were removed, we know, again in July and have not been returned to the home.